Hey everyone, Dr. Shook here. In this video, I want to talk about something called molecular mimicry. This is really important when we're talking about autoimmunity, when you have any autoimmune condition. But in particular, let's, let's talk about hypothyroidism, um, induced autoimmunity from Hashimoto's. It's one of the, it's the, it's the most common autoimmune disease that there, that there is. It's the most common amongst women. And uh, it's, the, it's the most common thing I see in practice. So let's talk about autoimmunity. And let's talk about this concept called molecular mimicry and why it's so important. Okay, so molecular mimicry is when um, your body reacts to, let's say, a protein like like soy. Okay, a soy protein. So let's say, um, and how this might happen is your body you would consume or ingest soy. Let's say you're you're using a salad dressing, and that salad dressing, which most of them have, by the way, you might want to check the back, the, the label. They have soybean oil as the base, and the reason they have soybean oil oil is because the oil is the cheapest oil in the market right now okay not to mention it's GMO which we'll talk about in another video but the soybean oil soybeans in particular and the soy protein can trigger an immunological response so the most common the most common foods that I find people react to are gluten uh, casein which is a protein in dairy soy protein and then eggs okay those are most common but the the soy protein so when you consume it, let's say you have an intestinal you have intestinal permeability or this or a leaky gut. When you consume it, it gets into your small intestine. Your small intestine, the your enzymes start to break down. Remember, the the soy protein is called a polypeptide. It's multiple peptides joined up. A poly meaning many. They're joined in a chain. So let's say the chain is this long, and that all these links of the chain are amino acids bound together. And your body, let's say your body. Your enzyme that your body makes snips one or two of those, and you've got several of these peptides. So let's say it's four amino acids linked together in a smaller chain, right? Those cross through the GI tract wall, the small intestinal wall, into the bloodstream, right? Your, your immune system does not know what to do or what those things are, so it, it recognizes them and it looks at them as being foreign. So it launches an immune attack against them. It memorizes the amino acid sequence. So it sees that four, let's say it's a four peptide sequence. It looks at that, it, it memorizes it, it launches an immune response against it, and then it mobilizes the immune system to circulate through the body and look for it. Okay, so let's say molecular, okay, so molecular mimicry, the molecule, that molecule, that, that four chain amino acid that's circling around your bloodstream and that your immune system has become sensitized to, that was part of the soy protein, right? Part of it. Let's say that that amino acid sequence, those four amino acids, looks a lot like your thyroglobulin. Now remember, that's that protein inside the thyroid cell that is one of the target tissues that your body could attack with Hashimoto's. Because remember, it's TPO, thyroid peroxidase is an enzyme, and then TG, thyroglobulin, the protein. Your, your immune system with, with Hashimoto's can attack both of those, one or both, okay? One, one or, um, or both. So you'll see if that, if that four chain amino acid sequence that came from soy, if that looks enough like your, like your thyroglobulin, then the antibodies, so your body makes antibodies, and these antibodies are kind of like sticky notes. Okay, I, I use the analogy sticky notes. Your body sees this foreign, this foreign peptide, and it comes over and it puts the sticky note on there. The antibody is like a sticky note that sticks to that, so that these other immune cells, when they come around and they see it, they can eat it. Okay, because they know that the sticky note says destroy this or eat this. Okay, so the antibodies are like these sticky notes. So what happens is your your antibodies that your that your body makes against that partial soy protein, right? That peptide of soy, that four chain amino acid. Your body sees that, puts a sticky note on it, right? And then it circulates around. Let's say it comes across your thyroglobulin. If your thyroglobulin, the molecule, mimics in the amino acid sequence somewhere to that peptide that's floating around, right, from soy, then those same antibodies that attached to the soy protein will attach to the thyroglobulin. Because it molecular on a on a molecular level, it mimics the peptide of the soy protein, so that antibody attaches to the thyroglobulin, and now your immune system does not differentiate your thyroglobulin from the soy peptide, and now those cells that come around and kill things, they kill the thyroglobulin. So this is why that's molecular mimicry. This is why we want to do sensitivity testing to these foods, so that we can identify. If you're reacting to these foods, because let's say you eat the soy protein, you react to the soy peptides, and that triggers an immune response. So what is happening else in your body? See, this is how 
eating a food can trigger an immune response that can cause further tissue destruction because of molecular mimicry. Okay, so that's molecular mimicry. Hope you guys learned something here. It's a really, really important concept, and that can happen with anything. That could happen with a bacteria. Uh, that could happen um, bacterial uh, lipopolysaccharides. That, that can happen with um, a lot of different compounds. So foods are one of the things that we see most common, and I just want to share that with you guys because it's a common question that comes up and people don't really understand it. So that's molecular mimicry. Hope you guys have uh, learned something. Uh, Dr. Shook um, here. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Comment below if I can help you out. I'll do everything I can to help you guys absolutely um, understand this better so that you can become empowered and take your health back. But I appreciate you guys coming here and trying to learn more about your health, your thyroid, and your autoimmunity. So have a great day.